Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of uh, season 2 of the PSR podcast. Currently with me is Ian. Hello. Uh, Educate is currently running a bit late. He's had something pop up that's a bit time sensitive. So, obviously that will have to take priority for now. But hopefully he will be able to join us later. And then for the, normally the other host, Skoa, uh, Skoa has actually, well over the last few months he's been pretty busy and you've all noticed that he's not been able to really come in onto the podcast or if he has been able to he's joined a bit later. But uh, between the last month, uh, or since the last podcast in this month, Skoa has decided that because life's been getting busy and he doesn't want to keep causing like, the same situation over and over again. He is dropping out of the podcast, so I would like to firstly thank Skoa as well for joining from uh, the beginning of Season 2 again, carrying on from prior with Season 1. Uh, yep, no, yeah, he was, actually, he was actually on every single episode in Season 1, if I recall correctly, the only person yeah. uh, to do that. So he's but, put a lot of effort into this, for sure. Yeah. And, like, I, I, I didn't ask Skoa, I believe it was you that asked Skoa, but uh, for joining season two be it I believe he, he just said yes straight away without any hesitation which shows yeah, how much he true. does care about the podcast so I would, I would like to thank Skoa once again for being on the beginning for season two of the podcast and uh, don't we actually haven't discussed how we're going to go on with uh, finding someone who will know the DS runs or the yeah so if any, anyone anyone who's interested or if you know anyone who's interested who's familiar with DS so that's uh, heart gold, soul silver, diamond, pearl, platinum, and black, white, black, white, and black two, white two. Um, just give one of us a shout, and uh, we uh, will, we'd love to have someone else on board since we're <laughs> we're Jordan and I are both not as familiar with Gen four and five. Um, I'm not sure about yeah. etiquette either, but uh, um, I don't we'll, uh, we're going to do the best we can. Yeah. So yeah, so we definitely appreciate uh, any help if anyone is willing to. Uh, to do so so yeah let us know yeah and of course there'll, there'll, there'll probably be times in the future uh where let's go we'll be on the podcast as a guest but for the tip for yes. the month to month he is uh taking a break we'll say so speaking of score though because has had a ridiculously good month uh this yeah. past month all these past five weeks with it being the longer extension uh starting off with the pearl any percent japanese world record 57 42 uh, we'll say Skoa has great, like, thankfully has uh, given us notes, and he will still be providing his notes for the DS runs in the meantime, which again, because we don't know anything that much about these runs, very helpful. So, it was a good run, uh, good beginning until Mars, apparently, and then started getting a bit shaky around Gardenia, and then Jupiter, which is this current fight, was bad because of a misplay. Uh, something to do with not understanding Japanese, which that's fair enough. I think it was <laughs> just like the turn earlier or something. But perfect tweaking, uh, managing to which like the twe- tweaking in the DS games. It seems wild. <laughs> like it's it looks it's really difficult. Yeah, really difficult. So perfect tweaking, like fair play. All of it was first try, and that managed to, managed to secure the Japanese world record. And then moving on to the second score world record uh, into platinum many percent. So, pretty, like just the late, I, I don't know exactly how platinum relates, other than obviously it's the same region. And but I guess it's the only. It's a very different. It's a very, di- yeah, it's sorry, a very yeah. different route because the time is, twice as long, so you can't yeah. do exactly the same. Um, this one involves getting two tentacles. Uh, initially, I think for. It was just one, and then Worcester ended up going to two. Uh, and that ends up being faster somehow. Um, but unfortunately, Skoa here um, got some pretty bad luck on the second tent of an ip. Yeah, and then also uh, there's a missed range on the fight afterwards with uh, Pavolkner, or like the gym leader after this, missing a 13 16 range on a Jolteon. Uh, apparently oh, those are try. awful to miss. <laughs> it's fifth try for the Minip, apparently. That's, oh, I mean, go with point. That sounds really itself. unlucky, yeah. <laughs> Horrific. <laughs> Horrific, according to Skoa. Uh, 
but then I'll say these two things, uh, those things though. Uh, it was a very good run with apparently the most clutch and hype late game ever. So, again, congrats. Yeah, I, I did get a chance to see that, oh. uh, the late game, but I'd love to, if uh, we could get some clarification from Skoa in the chat. Yeah. Sorry, in the chat. Can't, can't be on the podcast, but at least can guide us. So, for example, with the last one, apparently missed Leah after smoke. <laughs> so... That's uh, that's something. <laughs> that is definitely something. Oh. <laughs> Fair. Okay. So, Dexy, Soul Silver, any percent glitch list. Japanese world record. Uh, I'll let you take this, Ian. Yeah, so another Japanese world record. Uh, the third of three here. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a route that um, is a little bit different than the English version because the English version um, uses Voltorb Flip. Which is a pretty neat little uh, trick that uh, I believe Worcester discovered, or maybe it was someone else who helped him. I'm not exactly sure who, um, but apparently Japanese doesn't have Voltorb flip. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, I guess just can't do that. Can't uh, with this uh, with the I Japanese version. I believe it's because it's they don't have the gambling corner because gambling's illegal in Japan. Like so, none of the Japanese games. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the reason. Oh, yeah. that's... Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, as you can see here, this is a little bit different from what you'd expect to see in a uh, in a any percent glitch list with the Nips run, where you, you see him using Kenya for Whitney, specifically. Uh, it's potentially faster. We don't know if it's 100% faster, but it's uh, definitely more consistent. And you see in the glitchless manipulus category, um, a lot of runners will use uh, Kenya for a decent chunk of the game here. So, uh, yeah, pretty solid time. I'm not exactly sure how the uh, what the improvement was. Looks like a couple minutes improvement here, so that's pretty solid. Yeah, apparently Dexy is like fairly adamant that this is faster using uh, Kenya, and. Yeah, oh, it's pretty okay. cool to kind of switch mains multiple times in a, in a speed run for sure. And, and Kenya's nice; it has for consistent stats, if I recall correctly. So, yeah. Also, with it being a traded Pokemon, it'll get the boosted experience. Is mm -hmm, yeah. a nice little bonus. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll move on to the first of the English world records. We we got three <laughs> Japanese ones right off the bat here. Uh, this one actually is in black and white any percent and this is the cram uh beating minnow's record by about five seconds i think uh so we have 311 50 very very solid time here this this game has gotten taken down quite a bit since uh lily pup was used um which has been pretty cool to see um this fight unfortunately didn't go so well uh the chantal fight he got burned by will-o-wisp from kofagrius and then got flame body as well from chandelier after so uh, not the best uh chantal fight but definitely a solid time overall and an important thing to note here is that cram's running on white version not black uh, generally most runners will use black because it is a bit faster i uh, believe it's because um Reshiram, which is the legendary you catch, is a bit f faster, a bit uh, stronger to use than the other one, Zekrom. So, white version would use Zekrom. So, he lost a bit of time there, generally. Um, but, you don't have a black cart, you gotta run on white if you have it. So, uh, that's what he did, and he got record. So, congratulations to Cram uh, for a great time here. Yeah, Cram in the chat. Congratulations. So, I just to point out, Clearly, how it now works though is because white is the world record. That's the faster version. That is how it <laughs> always works. Hundred percent facts right there. Similar for a later game that's coming up for the world record, which I'm hoping Etiquette does get in time so I can just make the joke in front of him. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, yeah, I don't know which one you're talking about. Yeah, but then Goa. Just again, such a great month for Goa. <laughs> 3, 11, 13 yep. in white to any percent. Uh, apparently an absolutely insane early game, but a horrible burr. I don't... Is it burr? Burr. 
Burg, thank you. So, so Burr just, I, I felt stupid saying Burr, but that's how I would say that. That <laughs> I, I don't, I don't blame you for that at all. But I think <laughs> we pronounce it Burg. All right. But yeah, horrible Burg. Gen five and Gen six, especially, are just areas I don't. But anyway, uh, but ba uh, horrible Burg and Alessa, and then another bad Marlon. Hence why we're showing it. But post Marlon was pretty good with a decent elite four. So. Yeah, let's see what uh, let's see what was so bad about this fight. I'm sure exactly what it was, but obviously it's the water gym leader, so that's a bit of yeah. a problem for Excadrill. I think I don't know if Excadrill had fainted. Oh, it was fainted now. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, there. I'm watching this stream on Twitch, and it's a bit behind uh, <laughs> what you're streaming in Discord, so I should watch that. Oh, is it really? Um, yeah, it's is a bit it... behind. There's a bit of time oh. delay. Yeah, but yeah, there you go. It's uh. Got it, he fainted. I'm not sure if that's something you kind of you probably plan for that because he did have a revive. Um, yeah. but yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. It's obviously slow if you have to revive in the battle. Apparently really too. shouldn't have sent in Psyduck, apparently. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Many mistake on mistake. I mean, still mistake on mistake. It's still world record, still a great run. And I think, yeah, okay, finishes the split still ahead as well, so not too bad. Yeah, so how, what was this? Yeah, so he beat it by about 40 seconds. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, another very great month for Skoa. Uh, three records. Very, very good. Yeah, apparently not rare at all to die to Marlon. Mm -hmm. Which I guess, again, with the water gym leader when you're using a, a ground steel type Pokemon. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Speak of the devil, we have... Uh, etiquette's here. Hello, etiquette. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Sorry I am late. No, perfect No, timing. you came just in time, actually. Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll let you take this. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, so this was Wartab's new Pokemon X world record. Uh, we've talked about Wartab on, like, the last two or three podcasts, probably. Um, getting second places, getting really good times, but finally cracked the barrier and got the new record here. Um... The, as you can see by the splits, early game was not really amazing, but the uh, really, really strong Halucha uh, definitely saved the run. Very clean run after that. Um, and yeah, he's finally able to move on from the category, which is which is awesome for him. What, uh, what, how good was the Halucha in terms of nature and IVs? Do you remember? Uh, I mean, we can... we can fast forward a bit to see because yeah. he has the very neat little. Oh wow, Jolly's program really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's like okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds good. So Quite yeah, very fast and very, strong. Yeah, very fast. Um, rest of the IVs too. are all really good. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if we can actually get now down a bit more. Oh, would yeah, that be the just... best nature for Halucha? Um, or would something like Adamant be better? It'd either Adam... be Adamant or Jolly, surely. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't remember exactly where speed matters. Um. In the run, it's been a little while since I did any runs of it, but uh, either mm. Jolly or Adamant for sure. That's interesting. He's still behind at this point. Oh, like behind his PB. Where is he? Lysander won. Yeah, be there was a lot of there was a lot of late game time loss. I think in his. Oh old, yeah, there was, wasn't there? Old second place. So. Hello, congrats, Walter. <laughs> and then. Well, arguably one of the biggest world records, at least in the... Uh, oh, actually, it has to be... Well, yeah, probably the biggest world record in the Switch, but anyway, that's good. Um, yeah, so this is Kerbis uh, finally getting the 301 in Let's Go Pikachu. So uh, last month we saw Echi, I think, get a, th like a low 302. Um, and Kerbis also beating the record last month with the 302.25, but... Uh, finally breaking that 301 barrier after barrier blitz and everything. Um, really solid run all around. Um, it was right around PB pace and then got the time saving needed in Elite Four uh, to get that 301. So definitely a huge, huge milestone for the community uh, with this one. And finally, after like a year and a half, Pikachu is back on top as the fastest game. Yeah, clearly Pikachu is the better version. <laughs> <laughs> also, I guess something to note as well. Um, there was a skip discovered like after this, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, 
we don't have a video of it queued up, but no, um, we don't. <laughs> I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so one of the trainers in Victory Road can actually, it. yeah, we can actually skip um, a couple of the runners. Cruel was the first one to find it and found it completely by accident. Um, and then a couple of other runners. I know Jim Freak was working on it. Uh, Katerniz was working on it, and Headstrong trying to find like a consistent setup for it. Um, I don't know if anyone has like a consistent setup, but we at least seem to understand like how the skip works or why it works. Um, it has to do with the the area that it's done in um, is very narrow, and so you go from being off of your ride Pokemon to being on your ride Pokemon. And you can do that, like, as you transition past somebody's vision. Um, and so what we think is that there's some sort of, like, in other games, it'd be, like, invincibility frames, you know, uh, where you can actually, like, skip past this trainer. So a couple of runners have done it a few times. I don't know if anybody who's actually done it in an any percent attempt. Cruel did it as part of the, the series race. Um but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. The The crappy thing is it's literally the last trainer in the game before the Elite Four. So in terms of, like, reliability, um, <laughs> it's one of those things someone might be able to be on, like, a, th a high 302 pace, get the skip, and save a full minute and get a 301. Or it could be a case of somebody being on, like, a, you know, borderline 301, 302 pace, not getting the skip. And then, you know, ending with maybe a mediocre or not mediocre, but like a, a less than desirable time because of it. So uh, we'll have to see. Um, it's very still kind of early um, in its discovery. So we don't know if it can be applied anywhere else. People have been trying. Um, I tried a little bit in other places and it seems like something specific to that area, but we'll hopefully know more soon. Yeah, I got the clip in in our uh, in our uh, in our Discord uh, chat. So, if you want to tee that up, Jordan, what okay. just came straight up. It should be on. So yeah, yep. it's yep. the mo Like, yeah, let's just hold more anything. <laughs> yeah, so it's <laughs> uh, that that trainer. You didn't, didn't even react. Yeah, to that's it. the thing. That's the thing I yeah. find funniest. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's just it's gonna loop around, but like just. Look at Cruel and how just it's like he planned it. Yeah, <laughs> like he's, it's, it looks like he's been sitting on it for like years, and this was like the <laughs> the, the moment it was gonna be like come to light. And it's just yeah, <laughs> no, it's just complete. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely amazing, and it, it's one of those things that's it's pretty clear why it hasn't been found yet, because like. Up until Gen 7, which this is Gen 7, but it's like kind of not, whatever. Um, up until Gen 7, it's faster to talk to trainers. Like you're not supposed to walk in front of them um, because like the extra animation with the exclamation point and then the trainer walking to you and all that kind of stuff. In Gen 7, that changed. Um, so Sun and Moon and then Sword and Shields, you don't have to worry about it. Um, but all of us always like get back on the, the Rapid Ash and talk to Dawson here because... Like, that's just what we're supposed to do. And it just happens, like, somebody who's not necessarily familiar with the game just comes in and is just trying to, like, get through Victory Road, walks in front of the trainer, and just doesn't get seen. So it's it's really incredible. Um, but, yeah, you can see by the timestamp, this was found, like, less than two weeks ago. So it's definitely, uh, definitely still very new, and hopefully we'll see. I You could put up, like, a really good time with this skip if you get, like, a really solid run. Yeah. This. Yeah. Does that make... does that mess up EXP for the Elite Four though? Um, it does. But what you could do is so the the main thing that you're trying to get your experience for in the run, uh, at least in the end game, is you need to hit 53 for Dragonite, uh, because with the, yep. you know, the zero three five eight boost that you get, um, you want to have that extra damage because Dragonite can even be a range at 53. So being at 52 makes it just not pleasant. Um, but one of the things you could do is you could either just pick up five rare candies instead of four and then everything works out or, um, or you could, or pick up five rare candies instead of four, use them all early, get some like a little bit better early ranges. Um, or what you could do is just hold one of those rare candies until the elite four. Um, and the reason you might want to do that is has to do with the friendship mechanics in the game. Um, 
depending on how friendship works out, you might want to wait just because there's extra animations when you use super effective moves with a friendly poke. So, yep. Yep. Um, but yeah, no one's really looked into it too, too much just because a lot of runners moved on from the game after Kerbis got the 301. Um, and also because it's so late in the run, it just, it would be it would kind of suck to to get all prepared to do this skip and then just miss it after two like almost three yeah. hours. So <laughs> yeah, I wonder like how much time does the Dawson fight take? It's a three turn fight, isn't it? Um, like, so it's four. It's a it? four turn fight, three Pokemon. Right. Um, it would. I think the fight alone is probably between like forty five seconds and a minute. But then there's potential like healing implications that you wouldn't have to worry about. Um, just because usually what happens is uh, you get a free heal. There's four fights in Victory Road. You do two of them. You get the free heal from Officer Jenny. And then you do the Caroline fight, which is the Jinx that you have to hit Hydro Pump on. And then Dawson, which is the Lickitung fight. And you usually take damage on both and have to heal before Lorelei. But then if you don't take damage from Dawson because you didn't fight him, you might not have to heal and then it could mess up menus and stuff. So it, it, it's kind of tough to say. My guess would be 45 seconds to a minute, just the fight alone uh, would be a good enough time save. Um, then you'd have to factor in the extra rare candy you have to get. So it, it's definitely not, it doesn't make sub three like the easiest thing ever, but it definitely makes it a lot more possible than it was. Uh, which is sort of probably the next big milestone we're going to go for. Yeah. That was a good talk about Let's Go. Also, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but moving on to the, uh, onto the side games now. We're going to start off with a guest from last uh, month's podcast, Brady Boo. Uh, beat his own world record in Poker Park 80%. Uh, good hit on the gas there. I just like that. Well, I chose this bit, but yeah, it was a great, great first half of the run. Uh, the second half, not as good. Uh, but in his words, it was uh, terrible, I believe. I think I think that was what was on the SRC submission. But managed to recover enough. I mean, you can see there, like, pretty good, like, ending towards the splits. And I think it kind of carries on through all the way to the end, if I just do a quick skip. Actually, it loses a bit of time. But then, yeah, manages to bring it back in, like, the Mew section. So, more than once again, back-to-back -back world records in the month for this game. I think this all, from the looks of it, it beats... So, it seems like Hoom's run, like, it's on the world record there, was not submitted to the SRC leaderboard. So, this actually beats that time. So, I guess this is, like, the a proper like the proper official world record. I don't know where that... Oh, no, that... I was, I was thinking, where does that timer come from? It's just, that's the time of the game. Anyway, that's just me being sidetracked by something there. Anyway, uh, on to the first of three uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon uh, world records uh, that are going to be... Like, I think, like, Sugarman's actually got quite a few, but I'll try to name them. Anyway, um... So this is Blue Rescue Team, no quick save, no Wonder Mail, Japanese Wii U world record with a 2.15.53. It was over like four minutes behind uh, up until the split just before this one. And it manages to split back by like five and a half minutes in these last four splits. It's And I think like the last split after Rayquaza is uh, pretty much just text mashing. So picking up like this warp scarf here, I think, is pretty much what saved all this time. Uh, I feel like, or at least in this split, so really massive uh, in terms of like a comeback run. I run like I don't know about either of you two, but like running, no like four minutes behind you, you must have to know you've got a lot of time saved to keep going. Surely. Oh, ab absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so very impressive for just sticking in there, really, and riding out and managing to clutch the world record. Then the uh, second Mystery Dungeon world record, this one's in Explorers of Sky, 80% no Wonder Mail on emulator, uh, secure account with the world record with a 5.08.44, uh, a great run overall, uh, fastest pace ever going into the future. 
um, and was able to build up a good lead to mi mitigate some bad sections. For example, this monster house that came over, which led to a pretty poor amp planes. I guess in comparison to how they've run before, but still very impressive run overall. And then uh, Super Mystery Dungeon uh, from Shady Gamer, 80% Wonder Mail, uh, English World Record specifically, with a 542.51. Uh, managed to save a good amount of time uh, due to a splitting up, which, so this uh, pair that he's been using was actually no Wonder Mail pair. Uh, it, it really kind of seems like there isn't too much of an optimal, uh, optimal route yet. So there's still like a bit of uh, experimentation happening. The, I believe it's one of the lesser run Mystery Dungeon games. I think DX might be even less run. Uh, though I believe actually Mozzarella Cheese is doing a Dex them all or whatever the catch them all equivalent is for this. Recruit them all, yeah. Recruit them all, there we go. So yeah, that's uh, mad. But uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, so like, it seems like it, there can be some improvement uh, in the submission itself. It says sub uh, 540 is definitely possible. So uh, maybe something to look forward to in the future. Then one last run, I Yeah, so this is a ROM hack called Pokemon Dreams. Uh, it recently came out like a few months ago. Uh, it's actually been in development for about six or seven years. So the creator, she's been working on it for a long time. Um, and it shows this is a really well-made hack. Um, really plays really well as a speed run. Um, it is pretty rough early game. Uh, you run Eevee uh, for the run, and then you evolve it into uh, any of... The evolutions, there's actually, they all evolve by stone, so you can kind of choose which one you want. Uh, and Garf initially played this and used a different route that I'm using. And so hopefully we'll be showcasing this in the PSR Marathon if we get in um, as a race. So that'll be really cool. Uh, this was not a trainer I intended to hit. This is the biggest mistake I made. I was playing like a seven or eight hour stream. <laughs> I was pretty tired, so I was uh, lost focus here. But yeah, this is a pretty cool hack. You get to... Um, use some pretty neat little mechanics. Uh, in this game, actually, there's an option uh, with an NPC that you can turn on inverse battles for the in for whenever you want. Obviously, you don't want to go back and forth because you have to fly to that NPC. But this actually makes both my route and Garp's route really good because um, they'd be s both his route would be impossible without inverse and mine would be much slower. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a chance to, to show that later on. But definitely recommend checking this out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, also just to point out, it's a shiny EV, I think, every time that you get, is it not? Yes, it, it, yeah, it is It is shiny. Um, it's not as slow as you'd think, because you can actually you can actually go into the fight menu, go into your bag as the shiny animation's playing, if you if you mash. So it's not terrible. The one disadvantage is shiny Espeon, it's kind of polarizing in terms of what people <laughs> think of it. it it's, it's not the most good-looking Pokemon. <laughs> uh, the other one that Garf will use, I won't spoil it if anyone hasn't seen it, but he, um, his shiny looks very similar to the, uh, to the normal one. So, yeah, I, I believe like, I saw Garf a while ago doing like routing for, for this. It's it's, inter it's interesting. Just to, like, I'd say definitely check it out uh, when Garf's doing attempts with that. Because like, hopefully he'll get in the marathon. Because it it, it, I, it does seem like an interesting run hack. Yeah, it's like interesting it's it. yeah it, it's interesting because like a lot of rom hacks at least the ones that we've i think featured in the past haven't had like not to say they haven't had like big communities or anything but like usually it's either a pretty you know straightforward route or there's like one person that pioneered it or something like that but like having an actual you know routing difference with comparable times uh for something like a rom hack is really cool to me yeah, like what I initially saw Garf running this, and he had—I think he had announced he was—he was—he was routing it before. And I, I tried to look at it. I wasn't as interested in playing it at the time. But when I saw him play this, and he mentioned that Espeon, which is what I'm using here, was viable, could be could be viable. I was interested in in routing that. I like to kind of route things from scratch personally. That's kind of why I play a lot of ROM hacks because I like routing. Um, and um, 
as it turns out, they're both pretty competitive, actually. I don't, we don't really have a good comparison in terms of time yet, because these runs are not fully optimized. As you can imagine, they are ROM hacks. Not many people play them. So um, they're definitely, com definitely competitive. And yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a good race if we can, uh, if we can showcase that. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely seems like it will be. I don't know who's on the committee for the, the scheduling. Please pick this. This will seem interesting. Also, I don't think there's ever been a ROM hat race. I'd assume. No, I no, not at PSR. Yeah, there's been yeah. there have been a few actual ROM hacks just shown as uh, single runs, but not uh, not a race. Yeah. Anyway, without me trying to show this a bit more, uh, that <laughs> that was the last of the the noted runs. Uh, so going on to the marathon runs, as I try and press play, but it won't let me. Uh, GGQ. This is probably the oh well, yeah. This was this is the biggest marathon that's been in the last month. Um, I didn't much manage, manage to catch this because it was very late in the UK. So I'll let one of you two talk about this if you managed to see this just a bit. Yeah, I saw I saw like the end the like last two thirds of it. I think it was a pretty close race, as you can obviously tell. Uh, they're both on the exact same fight, so that's really cool to see three hours plus into a run into a race they're on the same pretty much consistent in terms of where they are um, yeah yeah i had i actually caught <laughs> it's funny i'm the exact opposite as iron i caught the first third or so of the run um and then i checked back the morning after to to see the ending but it was yeah really really solid run from both pulse and swift um really close race it was a lot of fun too um i know they had etchy and keys on on the call um, oh yeah the commentary was great commentary was great the host um was yeah. was great and everything so definitely a definitely a must watch in my book there's the cat in these hosts wasn't it <laughs> i believe uh, if i remember correctly oh was, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep yeah and then the other in at gdq uh amoeba with 80 percent glitch list seeing as he doesn't know how to spell oh Which, yeah that was Hilarious seeing that. So, uh, in fact, uh, I've got this person. moment right now. But yeah. Uh, this had probably one of the wildest donation pushes. Oh my. Oh my yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I can't think that, of anything yeah. similar. Oh, there's a spelling mistake. Adobe. Yep. <laughs> Adobe. This is, everyone in chat loved that. Like, let me tell you, like, just seeing everyone just type in anything that should be an M with a H. Like, I think even... Actually, let me just push this later on. Uh, not that later on. There we go. Yeah, beat Steve. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and so, yeah, so the, the, Emerald. Yeah, the incentive oh, yeah. was he would, he would, when you hit a certain dollar threshold, I don't remember exactly what it was, Um, you, he would do, go do an optional fight, which you wouldn't do in the run, uh, which is Steven. Uh, I don't remember exactly what was it. Yeah, you want know, was it the goal to hit two million or something, or was it a specific? Oh no, the fifty k there. Fifty yeah. k, yeah. and at this point, he's at thirty on Sydney in the Elite Four, the first Elite yeah. Four. <laughs> and it was it was something like they got to forty thousand, like either on Drake or beating Drake, and they literally got ten thousand dollars in a single fight. It was yeah, that... absurd. Right. Too far. Uh, wait, hang on. which fight is this? Because it's coming up to. I th is this just yeah this must just be before i think this is before steven or not uh, what well, steven wallace uh, wallace yeah oh. yeah let's just see yeah yep <laughs> so Thirty-eight thousand before this fight started Ridiculous. and they, they pushed real hard for it yeah yeah amazing though absolutely amazing yeah the run overall was like the last one it was a lot of fun um i think emerald is one of those games that's just so impressive to watch too so the fact that you know, Amiibo was able to just sort of on the spot put up a run like this. I think was really cool. Um, if I remember right, had a bit of trouble at like Norman. Um, Wouldn't be surprising with them. More or less, everything <laughs> yeah, else was fine. But, but yeah, very, very, very good runs at GTQ. And uh, on to by like Australian speed running marathon there's like it's like I get well I'm gonna assume this is the big Australian speed running marathon since they yeah. named it that uh 
got Aspect with Let's Go Pikachu. It ends up with a 308 27. I didn't watch the run, but at least I know that's a pretty solid time for a marathon. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and then there is also. Oh, yeah. Hot Gold Soul Silver. Race between JT Magic Man and Worcester. Uh, I think from the looks of it, oh, like when I was skimming through this for like again for the podcast, this was really close, and then just towards the end, it kind of like stretched away with a uh, Worcester winning in the end. So, and uh, let's get this. You won that from marathon races. You won cl- to be close, more entertaining. Yeah, especially a game like this, like uh, or like Pokemon in general, because if you're if you're doing something like a, a Mario game or something where it's very like easy to see visually, oh, the other runner just did this two minutes ago. With this, where it's like you're always in battle, or if you don't know the game, you don't necessarily know the story, so it's like hard to tell who's ahead. Um, but the fact that they were able to keep it that close for such a long time, I mean, and this category in general is just such a good race category, so. Yeah. Definitely and a good showcase. Definitely a good showcase. And then the last Yeah, especially room. if you, uh, with the Gyarados catch too, because sometimes mm-hmm. you can be waiting a while for that, so... Good that yeah. it was close. Then finally, Pokemon Snap, 100%. The cutscenes in this game. <laughs> I don't... I, is, is this going to show the shock face? I, I never remember which one specifically got the shock face, but still. Um... I have no context for this. It was a, oh, actually, I do know it's thirty-eight, thirty-five times, so it was a bit overestimate. So I assume they obviously would have wanted it to be a bit quicker, but it still seems like a, a pretty solid run. Like without knowing too much about Snap, I can't really tell more. And I don't think either of you two know anything about Snap. No, I've only played New Snap. Yeah. Uh, new Snap has new new DLC, hasn't it? Anyway, it does. Yeah. Maybe we could be seeing DLC runs for that popping up over the next uh, next month or next few months. But anyway, finally, oh, not finally, actually, because there's another marathon after this that uh, happens. But ESA Summer 2021, the other big marathon, really, uh, at least the bit. Uh, yeah, because just like the biggest mar- uh, marathon, biggest Australian marathon and the biggest European marathon all this month. Uh, we're starting off with actually Diamond Any percent glitchless, 40210. Uh, I had the best moment. I didn't get. I didn't get to watch this again. I've I've been very, uh, pretty bad this month watching watching the marathon runs. But did either you? Yeah, I saw. It, I saw. I saw a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't I remember assume, too much about. Yeah. Yeah, I assume it was a very good marathon run. Very entertaining. Uh, like what happened, Slayer on uh, on the commentators section. They're good commentators, <laughs> so I assume it was. Assume it was very good. But then also Shiru with uh, Fire Leaf Green Elite Four Round Two. Uh, four oh two nineteen. Uh, a bit overestimate, but this is it's Elite Four Round Two. I don't think it's exactly unexpected. The, it can be mean. From what I've oh, seen. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, managed to hit uh, two blizzards in this fight though, so. That was good. That went well. <laughs> then finally, uh, speed runs for Transliberation. Uh, Dijon Ketchup versus Leggy Star Screen with a training card game any percent tutorial skip. Uh, it was a one oh nine fifty one that won it for Leggy. Seems like a very impressive run. I uh, don't know if I can see the estimates. Okay, there's the estimate. Like a one thirty estimate. Yeah, be, okay, being it by over 20 minutes, very impressive, without any knowledge of uh, what the typical top times are, so very well done on that end. And yeah, that was the last marathon that happened this past month. So on to the upcoming marathons, that's for later the leaderboard roundup. Um, starting off with 2021 Flood Relief, Ian, if you want to talk about this a bit. I'll just talk about, I'll mention the runes whilst I try and find them. Yeah, so this is a marathon benefiting uh, the the recent uh, floods in Europe. Uh, The organizer's from Germany, I think, so it's kind of near and dear to him. Um, 
he's part of another uh, small community marathon series called No Glitches Allowed, which I've been involved in or played or done runs in quite a bit. And uh, there's me and Kylovic that are running in this one. So on 14th of August at 1.09 UK time, uh, Kylovic will be doing gold any percent NSC. And then immediately after that, I will be running Let's Go Pikachu. And that's yeah. uh, next Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I know specifically Waltab was directly affected by these because he was also moving in on the day the floods kind of started which luckily everyone like what's happening seems like people that we know seem to be safe but yeah it was a very scary thing uh, those floods from the looks of uh, from the looks of things yeah then moving on to flame fatals 2021 uh on the 15th which is actually uh the second third second yeah, second run uh, for the marathon. Uh, Shelty with Fire Red, Leaf Green, any percent. Um, that is at just before 10 past 7. Uh, not 10 past 7. No, yeah, 10 past 8. I can't even read my own times. Uh, this is in UK time, by the way. So, just like 10 past, uh, 10 past 8 in the evening on the 15th of uh, August. And then... That's the second first run. I think the second last run, or yeah, the second last run of the marathon. So, uh, second first and second last for Pokemon. Uh, let's go Eevee by uh, Headstrong on the 22nd at 20 to 1 in the morning, my time. So, those will be some very good runs. Uh, do you want to go over these ones? Uh, yeah, so this is BSG Annual 2021. Um, so there are four Pokemon runs. Um, first one is on the 15th, and it is... I don't see it there. Yeah, I actually do not see this. Uh, do, do, do. Unless maybe it's around. being changed around, potentially. Uh, you know what? Let's just do... <laughs> Um, hey, there we go. Uh, 17th. Okay, it yeah. was the 17th. So, yeah, so on the 17th, um, first run or first Pokemon run of the marathon is Cruel versus Genesis in Pokemon Gold. Uh, any percent no save corruption. So, this will be a, a race between the two of them. Um, should be a good one. That's a that's a pretty good race category as well. Um, next run is Conception doing Pokemon Sword Tower of Two Fists. Uh, I'm assuming it's Get Urshifu based on the estimate but yeah i just assume so yeah um so that'll be good i know conception's done that a few times in marathons yeah one of the go-to marathon runs i believe that on like bug snaps yep <laughs> um uh, is that just is that just a really consistent run for marathons uh um... and i know it's i know it's <laughs> short so yeah i, I think it's mostly because it's short um yeah it's, it's not uh... It's not that bad for marathons in terms of consistency, um, but there's there's one fight in particular that's really bad, um, just because like the problem part is the last thing that can happen in the fight. Yeah. Um, and then like finding the blissies and stuff, you're basically farming three to five uh, two percent encounters, which at least they're overworld encounters, but it still can be kind of rough. Yeah. yeah. I've I believe Conception actually runs the Nine Tails route. Wait, oh, I mean, right. Okay. So at least it doesn't have it's called, so like for Sobble. If you you yep. Sobble a Sobble start, you'll have the Onyx issue as well. Um, I don't. I mean, I'm going to assume it still has an issue with Clara because like, the that fight <laughs> with Clara too is yeah everything seems to. Uh, but yeah. Um. Those things. <laughs> Yeah, so um, then the day after that, on the 18th, we have uh, the first of two runs by Skoa Gogo. -Go. Um, this is Diamond Any Percent. So um, another, I think, good marathon run. It's um, it's on the shorter side, so it can fit in a little bit easier than some of the longer runs. Um, and Skoa's, I don't know, if, I don't remember if he still has the record, but definitely a former record holder if he doesn't have it right now. So uh, it should be a really good run. Uh, I mean, I'm going to assume this is English uh, yeah. that you'll be doing it in, but I believe uh, yeah. it does have the world record. Also has the Japanese world record this month, I think beating 
Actually, I don't know if Dexy took it back it, or if Dexy then has both. Her and then Sko improved it. He has both? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he has English and Japanese. Sko is very impressive. <laughs> yep. And then... And then... And then, yeah, the, the last Pokemon run of the marathon is uh, Pokemon Black, also by Skoa, uh, running the any percent category. And that is, I believe it said, on the 22nd? 20th, uh, sorry. 20th. 20th. Yes, 20th. Yeah. Yep, so a couple days later. So Skoa's got his work cut out for him that marathon, but they're both mm -hmm. both runs he's really comfortable with, so it should be a, should be good. And then final... Final uh, marathon that uh, at least fine for this month. Uh, speaking about conception with bug snacks, but anyway, that's not Pokemon. <laughs> uh, so 20, 27, unless this is. Oh no, it's just right at the bottom. Okay, so we have May uh, Cover May versus Etchy, Omega Ruby versus um, uh, Alpha Sapphire, any percent race. I swear this is the first time outside of, like a PSR marathon that Alpha Sapphire is being done. I swear, unless um, unless there's something I'm not aware of, which is not unlikely to be fair. But I think Wartab's done it a few times at like BSG. Oh, uh, okay, fair. Yeah, uh, th this will be a good race. I think Etchy has a better time, but May is definitely more practiced at the moment. I mean, it's half a month away, uh, so Etchy has plenty of time. But I think it uh... might be similar on times now. Actually, May's improved a fair bit. Yeah, Not when I fast. when I say actually has a better time, it's like a minute faster. <laughs> All right. Fair. Is this is this the run or the, like the run where one of the games gets like Groudon and yeah. one of the Latties, and then the other one gets the other? That would be that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's a really cool run. It's tricky to do in a, like a true race format. I don't know what they're planning to do for Mudkip stats. Um, just because like one runner could just be a minute and a half behind because it took them three tries to get. A runnable mudkip but um oh yeah and there's um, definitely a lot of swing points there's hideki where either runner could get walled for a bit there's norman there's alpha sapphire can have trouble with the latios or latius rather um omega ruby could have trouble with like phoebe in the elite four so it's it's definitely a, a good sort of race to see some back and forth yeah i i can't speak for edgy because i don't know but i believe may has a has a backup like okay. a backup game with, with a runnable kit specifically for specifically for marathons so yeah I, I know that's how i would do it um i just wasn't sure what their intentions were yeah anyway moving on to the 28 at uh never mind that time is wrong so they might have had to, oh wait, nope there is uh i guess time's just been slightly adjusted uh but tain uh tain man and d with puzzle league what are uh, Puzzle League one player stadium super hard. Uh yeah. Uh it's just uh like around quarter past seven. And then following that run directly is Poker Guy with Fry Red Leaf Free Any Percent. Which yeah. I think also to note, Midwest Speedfest, I believe, is the first uh, the first marathon with uh that's in person. In person. Yeah, yep. I think they did announce that because it, I believe cases have been rising in the Midwest area. But I believe they've announced that they, it's being forced to wear masks. Yeah. Yeah. And they but had like. like yeah. I saw they had like vaccination requirements as well. Yeah. Um, But I, I know, I know Poke Guy was excited about this one. This is, I think it's his first in person solo marathon run. Um, Not counting the first yeah. at GDQ. Did he yeah, race? He he raced Gunner, yeah. Yeah, he raced Gunner in gold, um, but he hasn't had like a solo in-person marathon run, so he's excited for it for sure. Nice. Oh, wow. That's kind of surprising to me. Uh, I, th I thought probably I would have, unless I uh, would like the. I guess it probably would have happened a bit earlier if it wasn't COVID happening and all that. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is the last marathon that I'm aware of, at least, uh, coming up. So, onto the leaderboard roundup, and I guess the one really impressive, uh, like impressive run for the month for Red Blue, any percent glitchless. Good at being simple in twenty third with a one forty seven forty seven. Uh, well done to them. Uh, 
Primal Pizza, 80% glitchless classic, 82 or 144.96. I uh, think Primal's been doing quite a bit of classic recently. I, I check in here and there in the Discord. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty interesting category. It's pretty much glitchless manipulus, but you have to do the uh, rocket hideout in Solidon. And you can't do Polka Doll Skip, you can't do Instant Text. There might be another one, I can't remember, but... Yeah, I believe it's also one of the oldest standing world records as well at this point. So it's definitely, it, I believe it's definitely in the top mm. five. Maybe even like, second oldest or third oldest. So, yeah, it's definitely, I think it's alongside the uh, yellow version of it as well. That's up there too. Yeah, they're, they're both from December of 2018, so they're definitely old records. Mm. Uh, Mini Blinder in 45th for yellow when you percent glitchless with a 2 hours and 5 second time. Uh, Kurt with 80% no save corruption, 1333.07. Uh, okay, I've got a shout out, hey you Pikachu. Uh, <laughs> any percent in 6th place with a 11325. I played this recently. God, I do not get the game. I'm I did play it in Japanese to be fair, and I don't understand Japanese, but I still don't get the game. I don't think I've got understood the game e either way in English. It's <laughs> it's something. So yeah, fair play there. Uh, also, just like with any runs that pop out to you, uh, let me know. I mean, I can see with Kid Rocker, uh, Jim Lee the Castle Round One English. Both an emulator, all for the emulator times included. 20, 20 seconds off of an emulator. Yeah, record, I know. So. Yeah, I know. Kid Rocky was really happy with that run. At least, oh, I mean, it's satisfied with the run in the comment as well. Actually, Kid Rock is in chat as well. The so mm -hmm. confirm whether or not. But yeah, still, so, well done. That that is not an easy game to get a quick time in. Uh. Third for Rinchan DX in any percent glitchless Japanese at 313.23. Um, I like the comment. Subat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. That's a good comment. An NPC does that in the game. Okay, now that's a now. Thank you for the context. <laughs> that, that's still like a solid <laughs> comment. But yeah, yeah, it's been so long since I've played those games. Uh. D -d yeah, pretty quiet on the uh, Gen 2 front. Yeah. It... But as far as I'm aware, Gen 2 seems to go through, like, dips. And yeah. Highs. It's either very active or very not active. <laughs> like, apparently, Kid Rock is going to do console runs to get an official PB in the stadium. But in no way he's going to beat it, apparently, on console. You never know. It's possible. Especially a game like Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Kurt in fifth with a. Uh, I'm going to assume it's just Sapphire because no one runs Ruby. Yeah. Uh, with a 20127. Uh, Blue Magma uh, in tenth with a 20321. And then Good at Being Simple with a 20420 in 11th. They're all very good times. Uh, like, I forget like the arrow, like the world record is under sub 2 at this point, but still, they are, they are all very good times. And also Revenir with. Um, Sixth, uh, the Japanese version was a two o four forty one. Uh, do do do. Uh, well, shout out Jukin, even though this run is from January technically, but Jukin with the complete Pokédex world record, the sub six. Uh, I feel like this was. Well, there's mentioned. a March one in there too. That's weird. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Cash Jirachi. Yeah, I think. Three. I, I'm going to assume it just doesn't really submit. Seeing as uh, they're both submitted on the same day, you just probably do them all. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, they're verified on. Yeah, it's it's sort of like it's, uh, how the roundup uh, board happens. I think based, it's based on verification on the... date. Oh. Yeah. Also, this is actually technically from last night because uh, SRC is currently under a lot of pressure right now, uh, <laughs> and it has it's felt like it has been for like the past. God knows how long at this point, but managed to get it done last night at least. So it's still pretty accurate. Uh, 
one run didn't actually mention in the roundup, but it is a very, very good run. Ryzukun in second place, place with Coliseum in English. I think that's I think that's very close to record, if I recall correctly. Yeah, seven seven seconds off world record. Yep. Yeah. Uh, ridiculously, ridiculously good time. And then also, uh, when you count the emulator runs, Randall, Randall eats cheese with a three thirty fifty five. Uh, the third. Randall picked this game up like two months ago, or something like that. He's gotten ridiculously good, really quickly. Wasn't uh, Bolton's Coliseum record considered one of the best, better records in PSR at one point? Yep. Yes. Uh, yeah. So that's crazy that Ryzen got that close. Yeah. So there has been a slight route change, I believe, um, involving so. Uh, in the run, you have oh, to catch. Okay. Uh, you have to catch a meditate to get the twister spoon, and you've always had to do that to boost Espion's damage output. But it's now like in certain situations, like the like the last section uh, of the final Coliseum fights, you use like you move the meditate to slot one instead of a plusal. And in certain situations, if you get like a scissor lead, because all the leads uh, are random, so you don't know. Like it, so you have, if you look at the notes, there's like a million different fights and different strategies for each fight. Uh, wow. But when scissor leads, there's a chance it'll go for the meditate, and that can save time, I believe. Uh, I believe it works like that. Uh, it's a uh, Redskins put a lot of work into that. And, but yeah, it's still a ridiculously good run. <laughs> it's like a ridiculously good run by Ryzen, even without the route changes. It's yeah. I, I'm I'm surprised someone's managed to get close to Bolton. That's how good that world record was. Also, I uh, I think we talked about this last month actually because it was on the day of the podcast. But still, three thirty-seven, thirty-eight for Bolton with no snags, improving his own time or their own time. And yeah, Bolton still has all the world records in Colo, but getting close, getting close to Ray, um, Ryzen. Uh, anyway, Colo talk over. Uh, Pokemon Emerald, any percent glitchless, some pretty good times here. Macwing with a 231.43 and Crafted with a 232.09 uh, being the highlights there. Yeah, Macwing, is, he was. I watched him do that run, and he was extremely happy with it. He was completely blown away by how well that went. <laughs> so, really yeah. good job to him for for that. I don't know what their previous time was actually. I'm going. I'm going. You know, see and uh, see if I can quickly check. Yeah, but high two thirty four. Yeah. So okay. Over. To. Yeah, over three minutes. Three minutes. And I mean, I don't know exactly, but. Something like a week to maybe a couple of weeks, probably something like that. That's a big jump. Very, very big jump. Yep. Uh, Pokemon XD, uh, the one of my favorite games, just in general. Uh, any percent tenth for Damon with a four thirty eight forty six. Quite a few submissions this past month, actually. Uh, more than uh, I'd expect. Even if one of them is actually technically from May, but <laughs> uh, we don't need to talk about that. But yeah, and then Exalted Silver with a 4.51.53. Uh, the Mystery Dungeon, there's, there's always something. Uh, all icons, no quick save, no Wonder Mail, Japanese. Going to assume DS. Um, 8 hours 32 11, first place for Shigamo with a world record. Well done. Um, Diamond Pearl, uh, 80% glitchless English on DS. Etchy in 6th with a 346.39, and Wartab in 9th with a 40102. Uh, I th I'm, I, this is Wartab's next quote unquote project. <laughs> I don't know. If that's, that's what Wartab's focus now is, right? Yeah. A diamond pearl. Yeah. For now, anyways. Yeah. And do, do, do. Pokemon Battle Revolution. Uh, any percent round one, fifth place for Fortune Gamer, a 340 39. 
And then low percent round one, uh, uh, RD, RDA. Or it hasn't changed the name. It doesn't change the name on this compared to what is on SRC. But anyway, uh, RDA with uh, Cindy World Record a 35701. I believe it's like one of two runs on the board. But I didn't put it in. But so far though, apparently. And apparently no RDA skip in Magma. A terrible courtyard, but a good Mysterial, which I believe is the final fight. Uh, Pokemon Platinum. Uh, Minnow in fourth with a 80% glitchless. A 343.33. Uh, Minnow. I have the boards there. Okay, which one did I... Okay, secure... I think 80% Wonder Mail. English emulator secure account with the emulator world record with a 444.44 comment of four. Um, I think that was it's like obviously it's a solid time, but I don't think it's like equivalent to like the world record would be in like DS and stuff with time adjustment, at least from what I gathered. Tell me if I'm wrong on that one on that end, if anyone knows. Uh, Shigama with a uh, beat dark or uh, beat dark ride wonder male Japanese DS world record with a six twenty two twenty. Uh, secure account with a, the the uh, beat dark ride wonder male English version on wonder male with a six thirty one twenty eight. Um, beat dark ride no wonder male by Shigama Japanese world record with an eight thirty nine oh five. Shigama again world records. Left, right, and center in PMD. And then Epon Eponymous with the No Wonder Mail on English version with a 10, 13, 39. Uh, Rumble, uh, 80% emulator, no passwords. Diego Armando with a 40, 20 emulator world record. I believe the console record is quicker. So it may just be more of a filling out of the board type of situation. I'm not too sure. Uh, all stages emulated, no passwords. Stand from work with a one hour fifteen second time. Uh, and then uh, in the mis category, uh, mis or miscellaneous categories, uh, RDA with a uh, all stages, all battle royales, no passwords. Three hours six second, uh, three hours six minutes thirty three seconds. Uh, apparently sub three would be good. So. Could be some improvement there. Um, Heart Gold Soul Silver, any percent glitchless English uh, on the DS. Wait, is oh yeah, there's emulator of course. Uh, third place for Tuckle the Rat with a three thirty five fifteen. Third place on the uh, oh the Legend of the Three uh, the Third DS. Um, and then Scoa in fifth with a three thirty nine thirty. And then pretty close behind in tenth, affected ashes with a three forty four fourteen. Uh, Dexy's time there mentioned Ringo, just behind uh, submitted earlier, but a three twenty six forty one might have been a world record at the time. I'm not too sure. Yeah, uh, possibly. And then Dexy with the. Japanese Talans, any percent glitches, I believe it's the, the same run. It's the same yep, board. Yeah, it should so. be. So no, no, no special mention on the noted runs for that reason. Uh, Poker Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure, second place for any, in any percent Japanese for Shodai, with a uh, 2.13.50. Uh, Pulse with a PB in black white in 11th. Uh, for a 31538 and then Etchy with a 17th place time of 32053. Uh Bebo with a chapter one emulator world record. Uh 3250. Uh Mulis with an old friends Poke Park 2 time of 64220 from February. I've been tricked once again. And Rob the Gamer uh, actually, I think that time also, but whatever, I've started saying it. Uh, Rob the Gamer in fourth with a 741.15 from a run 
uh, back in June. Ringo running black white too. Uh, third place in 80% Japanese, a 332.45. Ringo's starting to take over the, the DS side of things now as well. Always push, making the push for it. Uh, truly in fifth for XY, 345.19. Uh, Headbob in ninth with a 347.53. Also in Gamer in 17th with a 354.56. And also with an emulator world record. Uh, with a different run, a 354.26. Well done there for that. Uh, seems like there is a, bit, a good bit of improvement though, or a bit of a gap that's available, because I assume emulators should in theory be quicker. It should be, yeah. Uh, Omega yeah Ruby. I think for I think for Citra, you, it's probably reliant more on your system to to run to run the emulator. Ah, fair enough. Oh, I could be wrong, but uh, apparently Brady's also got the poke. Uh, got the Park Two where, uh, record. It's still being verified currently. I mean, might need retime, but it sh I assume it's still probably clear enough for uh, uh, Park Two world record. So congrats there. Uh, yeah, GG. obviously assuming it gets verified, but I assume it will do. Um. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Oh, Omega Ruby. Any percent specifically. Uh Poker Guy in fifth with a 30642. How long has Poker Guy been running this? <laughs> Couple weeks. Uh not very long. Yeah. He actually he had a run that was probably low 305 pace. Like it could have been a 304 with super good luck. Um, but he ended up hitting a spinner in Victory Road. Ooh. So yeah, he, he's definitely improving pretty quickly in the game, for sure. Yeah, I mean, don't know how much practice Poker Guy was doing prior to doing runs, but still really impressive after two weeks, uh, two weeks of attempts. Yeah, let me see. So, first ever Gen Six run was posted in Discord on July twentieth. So, about two and a half weeks. Yeah. Yeah, that. Not bad. Yeah, that's ridiculously good. <laughs> that's so good. Uh, any percent for Alpha Sapphire? We've got Culver May with a 30908. Um, a very long that, comment. Yeah, I there's got it's got to be some reference or something. Yeah, I do not know what it is. Do you do, do either of you recognize that? No clue. Or anyone in chat? Might be, might be song lyrics. I don't know. I mean, I. It's got to be song lyrics. It looks like, maybe. It looks, it it looks looks like, like song lyrics. It. That's the power of love is put twice. Maybe that could be the song name. Uh, but yeah. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, and then going to Super Mystery Dungeon. I think I mentioned the Wonder Mail one. So the... I mean, in the no run, so the eighty percent no in the mail, uh, run last month, but verified just after. Uh, Shady Gamer with a five fifty thirty three. Uh, seems like a like an, an insane near twelve minute PB. So yeah, that sounds like a very good run. Uh, even though there was apparently a, fortunately that the late game sucked, but yeah, so it's probably yeah. Transfer sub 50 probably is pretty high, I'm going to guess, based on that, but still, well done on that world record. Um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Oh, sad, there was no Sun or Moon runs. Um, but yeah, uh, third place for any percent English new 3DS. Uh, Isim in third with a 544.06. Um, within 10 minutes of world record, so maybe. If they're pushing that, it's getting very close. Or it could be getting close soon. And then, aim percent on the threes, yes. Fourth place for the fourth gen gamer. Uh, with a 657.14. Awful. So, so awful. Apparently. I... I is it... I, 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 like, is there any confirmation on the timing differences between new 3DS and 3DS? I don't remember. Fair enough. 
<laughs> um, Edeka, I'm just going to let you take the let's go stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, lots of movement as as always with the, the popularity after Blitz and everything. Um, Jim Freak with a, a 302 in Eevee. Um, another few sub 310 times with Snarem and T-Pat. T-Pat's time is actually the I believe the fastest physical time. Like, so physical cartridge versus digital download. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Let's Go is unlike Sword and Shield in that it doesn't actually have it listed on the leaderboard. That's something I think we're working on, but it just it's been moving kind of slowly just because it's not really too impactful, but it's something we want to do longer term. Um, and then on the Pikachu side of things, we mentioned Kerbis's run, um, Aspect with the 304, and Katarnese with the 305. Um, and then Iron with a 318, actually, too. <laughs> Other yeah, it's a bit of fun game. Still uh, gonna, aiming, aiming still for uh, lower than that, obviously, but uh, it's getting to the point where I'm not going to be starting, not going to be taking off five plus minutes per, per a PB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets to that point. Um, and then, yeah, Diploma. Diploma's been kind of quiet um, recently, so it's good to see another time there with Razor's Edge and Kid Rocker. Yeah. I think just one thing to know about Katniss, he's all, I mean, he ran Eevee and he has a very good time in Eevee, but he's picking up good times in Pikachu as well, mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Uh, he's cut down to like a 305 and again, it's less than a month. I don't know specifically how long, but pretty impressive as well there. Uh, Pokemon Soul Shield. Um, so, I don't know if this is a change on SLC. It should be changed, yeah. Yeah, it's changed on SLC. It's, it's um, no hands OP uh, with a 4 14 30. Um, ridiculously impressive runner because, as the name suggests, has no hands. Um, I don't know if I can't remember specifically. Is it Quadula Edic? I uh, think so, but I don't remember. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, it's just like, so like, I would play something you'll just maybe be able to see in it. Actually, I can put on YouTube because that'll be easier to see. Oh, that's so impressive. Yeah, ridiculously good runner. Um, also, like, he claims this is a very lucky run, to be fair, but still a very good runner. Also, uh, I believe the first person to uh, get Anita skip in a run. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um,. <laughs> I think he ended up going back because you kind of actually need to fight an eater, but yeah. <laughs> I think in any percent. But it's still impressive. Uh, That's really cool. And I, what's more impressive is I'm pretty sure he's in the middle of learning Let's Go. Yes. So he, he was oh, working, wow. He was working with me and Wartab to try and figure out the best way to do the motion controls and stuff. But um, I think he did a, like a proof of concept kind of run recently. Um, and so we hopefully we'll see uh pv or two within the next month yeah and um like he sent me a clip of like i think he's like sent you and maybe a, a wall tab as well a, a clip mm -hmm. of like a section where it's the first time his controller just flew off yeah i saw that yeah it, it affects everyone controllers but so it's, that's, it's got... so that, that's sorry yeah. that's skip is that that's kind of like the dawson skip it or let's go right Cause... um it's the same idea in that like you just go through the vision <laughs> um yeah but oh, yeah. no one really knows how it properly works because it's not like you mount and or dismount and mount you just boost and it'll sometimes happen <laughs> but yeah it's because like for a lot of people typically you don't actually have a boost at that point uh how depending on how you do boosts in the run uh so like because so you buy uh, in sword shield your bike if you you can boost for like a temporary bit of time and in that section you can i at least how i do i boost a bit early which doesn't allow me to boost on from the moment you need to it was a it was a really interesting clip i actually i can i'm not like i might send it to you later because it seemed different to how other people or like at least in terms of timing it seemed different to how other people have okay. been doing it before. 
So, but yeah, uh, just an, it's just a cool thing. Again, it's not useful in any percent. It's more useful for any percent of DLC uh, if that was to happen. But in any right. percent, you kind of have to, especially in Saws, because I think the you need to buy the trainer for the experience to evolve into Italian into Intellion in time for the right fight. But yeah, so <laughs> anyway, that was a tangent. But yeah, third place, uh, four fourteen. 30. Uh, Martin scores easy with a 4.16.50. Flip it with a 4.18.01. And then uh, Etienne with a 4.18.11. Who actually, Etienne was technically the first person to find a need to skip. Yep. Which he never had any video proof of. And every, like, every, I don't know. I, I mean, I assume no one probably thought this, but everyone thought it was like a bit crazy. Because he was just like he described it, but then didn't have the clip, and he just, it was what it was Mizzle that actually had the was the first person to find it like ages after. But yeah, anyway, uh, Etiquette, how was your run in any percent shield? Um, it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I this so I actually beat the time by about four seconds. I just didn't upload that one. Oh yeah, you did, um, didn't you? Yeah, the the one that's on that's here on the leaderboard had a very mediocre start. Um, like the whole Arcanine section was not very good, and then the Excadrill section of the run was really good. Um, I had essentially the best kind of Excadrill you can have. I want to say it was like a Jolly Nature, um, high enough speed that with Carbos I outsped everything. So it was, um, it's one of those runs that when I go up against in the future like i'll have a hard time saving time in the end game so i'll be you know really hoping to be like minutes ahead almost uh coming out of the arcanine section but i uh i had every intention of going for a sub 410 and everything and then pokemon unite came out so i stopped speed running <laughs> yeah i mean to be fair shields shields brutal it is yeah so i can understand even just taking the break anyway yeah, uh, third place, uh, Josh Ball with a 4.13.54. That is a candy force time. Very disappointed in Josh, not in Josh, but oh well. <laughs> very good run. It's a very good run. Oh, at least very good time though. Um, no hands as well with a 4.23.30 in shield. I believe he started with shield and then moved yep. to sword. Uh, so yeah, solid times in both games now at this point. Uh, Sai J with the, uh, this is slightly odd. I believe he actually beat it today. I don't know if it's been verified or not, but he's improved upon this time actually. If I can, it's like a four twenty four or something, something like that. It's the, I believe it's the physical any percent without DLC world record. Yeah, four twenty seven fifty five. I just saw his tweet. All right. So yeah, yeah, very very good time, uh, especially for physical. But there's definitely also the room for improvement. Um, and then just slightly close behind Tin Chen with a four thirty four twelve, and then twelve. Um, do to do, any percent with DLC sword. Uh, flip it with a thirteenth place time with a four twelve twenty five. Uh, Zartrix with a 15 place time of 4 14 27 and then ninth place time in shield for 15 tails with a 4 19 25 uh Flipwitz was with a Suicune I have no clue what Zartrix, uh, Zartrix is is with and then seems like it was a Diggersby for 15 tails so yeah pretty solid Pretty solid times. Um, Mystery Dungeon Rescue, uh, Rescue Team DX. True ending, no one's mail. English Shady Gamer with a four forty four thirty three. Uh, I believe that's the only run on the board. So why I didn't put it in? So I, have, I have no context as to whether it's a very good time or not. It's still a world record nonetheless. Uh, yeah, it is the only time. Uh, D I should DX hasn't really been run too much, which is, but I think it's 
kind of just tell you how the game is. It's, it might be a bit more awkward than the DS version. Uh, new Snap, uh, new Pokemon Snap, any percent uh, sixth place for Quo with a 237.16. And then also for all Pokemon 1.x, uh, Quo in third with a 350.38. Has it been updated to like a 2.0 with the DLC then? I'm going to guess. That's my guess, yeah. Fair enough. Um, Iron? I'll let you take over the. Is yeah, th th is this fan games? Is it just fan games? Or is they also... they oh. are yes. Right. These are web based games. Uh, I'm not so familiar with them, but they're very short and they're kind of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're kind of <laughs> PETA style runs, so it's kind of cruelty against animals kind of thing. I. They're a bit of a meme, but yeah, to each their own, I guess. Yeah, if there's anything... There's, a few, there's, actually, there's actually quite a lot of activity in these, but uh, I'm not familiar with them. Yeah, fair. They're, yeah. they're pretty short, two-minute runs, so... Yeah. There. A couple of world records, though. Uh, one for Burj in black and blue, and then uh, one for Trademarked in uh, red, white, and blue. Uh, poker Clicker. Or you'll clickless. Again, the concept. <laughs> clickless in a clicker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Seven forty-eight point zero six for Fire Dog one two three nine. Yeah, I mean, just uh, like if there's anything that like, stands out for runs, just pop in and say. Yeah. Uh, no the <laughs> the Vega run is pretty interesting. Um, this is an we actually had to add a Japanese board because the runner submitted a Japanese run. So this is the first time we had to do a Japanese leaderboard for a ROM hack. Oh, no. um, this this game is very, very awful uh, to <laughs> speedrun. There's a lot of really dumb puzzles. If anyone's familiar, uh, Kizaron did a race, a blind race at this game way back. And there's a puzzle in a gym where you push boulders down holes and the boulders are moving back and forth and you have to slide and on ice. You have to slide into the boulders as they're moving to get to different areas. Oh, it's just so brutal. But, uh, <laughs> um, and it's initially a Japanese game, this one. So um, this is a pretty good time, I think, for uh, for this game. Uh, I don't think I'll ever play it. It looks it looks insanely hard. A lot of fake mons, that kind of thing. Um, there's a there's an easier version of it as well, called Vega Minus, where they took out a lot of the stupid puzzles. I, was, I shouldn't say stupid, but like <laughs> OP puzzles uh, yeah. in the game. Um, um, I'll admit, yeah. I thought you were just gonna like when you said it was uh, like all like yeah, I think you said awful. I thought you were just gonna end it there. But that's why I thought it was hilarious. You were just gonna end it at that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I died. Uh, I died some. Uh, I think it, there's not seem to be too many because I think Pokken, yeah, Pokken's like its own separate section. Um, so yeah. Crystal clear, one badge glitchless, two point four. Easy yeah, way. That's an open. Yeah, it's an open world crystal hack. Oh okay. It was in the last PSR marathon actually. Uh, casual uh, did a run of that. I casual think he did like got... a full, full any percent category. Yeah. Casual there with the second place time of two fifty. And then, if we've got your dreams time, already been mentioned earlier. And then the arcade version of Pokken Tournament by I I, I go and assume these are all the only runs on the board because I don't believe this was a thing last time I checked or like last time uh, these runs came up. So pick Azriel with all the world records in arcade mode, all difficulties, and then I assume that. They're all just from the same run. But easy, normal, and hard. I, I believe that all adds up to 10. Or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe? Uh, okay. I know at the very least the seconds do end up... Okay, no, no, that, no, no, they can't do. No, they can't do. There must be something else in there. And maybe it might be menu in between them. Yeah, also one of them, the normal mode one, is from two days before. 
Oh, okay. That would that's also be a clear sign. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a clear sign that they are different then. Uh, and then this is all into the category extensions, which I, I let's see if there's anything specific that needs coming out. I guess like any percent glitch is blindfolded. Uh, I know Shifty's that's that's their thing doing blindfolded runs. Don't know if there's been any other people who've done runs of it, but two thirty three forty, well done there. Um, and then Mangro with a twenty nine oh five. Beat Misty. Seems pretty impressive. Um, I think I'm not sure, but the Beat Misty category might just main switch, to, or well, yeah, I don't know if he even uses Nidoran, but I could be wrong. I remember, I remember watching him do a run. He was using Pidgeotto, but I could be wrong. Yeah, they, I don't know if you want to. It was using Nidoran, I think, and then they, um, someone was theorizing that it would be better with Pidgeotto, um, and so they switched over to that. New strats do not use Nidoran, but old strats did. Going to Longbro in chat. Okay, cool. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> uh, I guess I just left Fire... I accidentally moved Fire the Freen down into the category extensions. Cool. Uh, anything impressive in this? I'm a nine second with Emulator. Um, with a yeah, 32217, yeah. Yeah, I must have just grabbed this back. Yeah, because I have to do, because of how SLC's added the new category extensions that Water has put in, it messes everything up with the leaderboard bot, so I have to move things around manually on my, or I like to move things around manually, which leads to this mistake happening <laughs> sometimes, almost every time. Um... Yeah, some pretty solid times here. Like Q Pal's twenty sixth place with a two of six is that's that shows how good this game's got or how high caliber the uh, the uh, the ability and execution mm. in this game has gotten. Yeah, like Fire Relief Green, like it's Fire Relief Green and at least Let's Go to me that's seen like the most improvement from a lot of people, unless it's something else I'm not aware of. I oh, can't remember off the top of my head, but I believe that is the case. Um, uh, anything else? Just lots of alt mains. Yeah, there's, there's many, many alt mains. Uh, <laughs> try not to say them too much because I do know that, like, I feel like for the most part, they are typically just individual world records. Oh, obviously they're not they're impressive in their own right but we're trying to get through this quickly um that's okay that's just a slightly interesting category battle tower manipulus i i wonder what the why do you start with that <laughs> it might just be the battle tower itself kind of like the Heart gold, soul silver. Yeah, so is this the only run of this? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh no, there's one of the there's one of the run from JT. Minip the min uh, minute version. It's quicker than the minute version. So I don't know, I assume that's probably not as optimized, but Yeah, the so minute one looks really is older. Yeah, yeah, it's also it is also older, yeah. Still very impressive. Uh one eleven thirty two. Um, Manipulus for black white as uh, Zypotic with a 337.03 um, from like, five days ago. Uh, point out all main for, uh, for Sork because that, that's like a wasn't that theoretically like a quicker route, but it's also like much, much less likely or something to find like a good Sork. I think so, yeah. Might have been it's confirmed a... slower, I'm not sure. Oh, is it, if it's confirmed slower, then fair enough. So there is, Anyone uh... in chat can confirm or yeah. correct me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, score with a 3.14.08 from back in March. Trips me once again. Yeah, 
Let's let's also point out the min that Minnow's alt main M more is was the old route for this. Oh. <laughs> Before <it went> up. <laughs> so Ah, fair enough. So Minnow with a three fifteen oh five. Um wait. Is a Skadrill not used in black white? Oh is it only black white two? Oh black two. Only black, in right? two, yeah. Okay. Well still uh, all main Pokes X Skadrill. It has. With a three, that's, I think that's is that because you get Iron Head in Black Two, White Two, and you don't in Black White One? I'm not sure. I could not tell. But there's you a considerable, yeah, or maybe it's just <laughs> not. Maybe it's just not as viable, just in terms of catching it. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, please <laughs> let us know. <laughs> um, but moving on to Black Two, White Two, Manipulus, Tucker Lay Rat with a three thirty one forty eight. Uh, does Tucker only focus on Manipulus? I'm gonna guess. Ozzy started doing some manip stuff, maybe in other games. I think he's he's I think he's done manipped in Heart Gold Soul Silver right. as well. Solo, very very good time. Three thirty one forty eight. Yeah, dude. Uh, and then Worcester with complete EWT. Pokemon World, World Tournament. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> With a 956.04. That is pretty crazy. Yeah. I haven't watched much of that, but uh, knowing him, that's a pretty daunting category. So 10. <laughs> um, let's go Pikachu, Yugi Kagu Ascensions. So, what is Beat Red etiquette again? Because I know that's yeah. been popping up this. That's a, that's a cool category. Yeah, it's a really cool category. I actually have my eyes on it. I was going to do one. I was going to do a run yesterday, but I ended up playing more Unite. Um, <laughs> so basically there's, uh, you can fight Red, uh, so the protagonist from Gen 1. But in order to do that, you have to beat six of the Master Trainers. So once you beat the game, you unlock access to the Master Trainers, and the Master Trainers are all level 65, 70, or 75. Um, and you have to use that Pokemon. So if you're fighting like the Nidoran Master Trainer, you have to use a Nidoran. Um, and you cannot use any items. So it is like no items in battle. So um, the for speedrunning, you basically want to pick the six easiest ones and ones that you can like cheese your way through. So for example, um, Firo is probably the most obvious choice to do because Firo's moveset is like um sky attack roost drill run and something else that's non-damaging and so what you can do is you can use toxic and because it's only damaging move that can actually hit another Firo is sky attack which is a two-turn move you can always get like a, a protect off in time uh so you never have to worry about dying uh so you you basically need to find oh. six of the the master trainers that have move sets like that um, which there aren't six, so you end up having to sort of, you know, figure it out in a different way. Um, but once you do that, you gain access to Red, who has a train or has a party of like six Pokemon that are all level 85, I want to say. Uh, really, really high level. And again, you can't use items in battle. Uh, so no X items to set up, nothing like that. You have to you know, get a good move set on something um, and get through the fight that way. So it's it's an interesting category. Um, like I said, I've been eyeing it up for a little bit, but I haven't really... I did like a proof of concept run, but that was about it. So um, hopefully this will see some traction soon. Yeah, that does sound... That sounds pretty cool, that. Apparently Giovanni was Emu's nemesis in there. 355 44 world record is this the only run at the moment or i think it is the only run at the moment yeah i actually just check okay i can just check easily uh beat red yeah it is currently the only time but maybe this is maybe there'll be another one or two pop up over this next month or so depending on how much people play unite or not apparently <laughs> Uh, he moves with Ditch Bill World Record as well, 3315. Uh, how much is that the previous World Record by? I think it's like five seconds. 
No, a bit more. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, it's on that's... Eevee? What? Uh, Eevee, Eevee's like objectively worse for this category. <laughs> oh, how come? Uh, Oddish is just way better. Oh, yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. That's impressive. Uh, yeah, fair play. And <laughs> sub 33 is very possible, even, uh, even on Eevee, yeah. Apparently, it seems like well, a few things could have gone better, especially Rival 1, based on the comment. Um, but then also, True Co op for Eevee. Uh, where Little Z. I'll just say it's Little Z. Numbers are too complicated to say uh, for some reason for me. And then Emutes with a 326 42. Um, that is getting very close onto your time etiquette. Yeah. Um, that's definitely getting there. I don't know. It's hard to say exactly how fast this kind of a category can go. Um, I could see low 320s for sure. Because I think my run, or yeah, our run had like two optionals, I want to say. So I mean, it definitely can go down by about two minutes, but it can almost certainly go even further below that. It's an interesting category. And then also in fourth, Jolly Turbo and Green Lightning with a 340-51. But in then fourth. Um, Alright, Soul Shield. What's the... Uh, I'm going to shout out the trailer main Porygon Z. That, seem, like, that seems like a very impressive time for a Pokemon I would not expect from as much. But I think it's because it has adaptability. I think yeah. it's the ability. But yeah, it's oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's like 348.09. Very good time. Um, Nevadra with a Dynamax Adventure one player world record of uh, 4 minutes and 48 seconds. Don't know if that's the first of five or the second. We'll have a look now. <laughs> Seconds of five. So, but yeah, that's a, a very good run. Whereas it can be being in, I mean, so I guess like the advantage like for one player is that you can have no animations. So like you'll see like three player and four player, they're going to be considerably longer, even right. though you can control like you don't have to rely on good NPCs, at least for four player, uh, because animations. Uh. And then, I don't, I mean, well, I guess, like, I don't know the context for the, the stadiums, everyone's, but the transfers for complete the game, uh, allowing transfers, Pokemon in, I'm assuming, uh, switch with a world record time of 10, 18, 36, uh, apparently a good first run, and then RDA with an alt roots in Battle Revolution, Cindy plus Nate plus Joel plus Natalie, which there you get like trainer cards that'll allow you to access to like certain Pokemon. I don't know if it means you they only use the specific Pokemon within them or just allow to take the Pokemon from all of them. But it's all a 5 30 13. And then last but not least from the Pokemon training card game. Squirtle and Friends, Franksy with a world record of 54-37, uh, which was from last month, damn it. <laughs> so, yep, that is that is everything from the Lead World Roundup. Uh, with the last things to mention, uh, if someone wants to talk about the Pizza Martin Malta, I try and get the link in chat, please. <laughs> um yeah so psr marathon 2021 uh normally we do it in august but this time around uh we were a little bit late getting started um with everything going on in the world and the this being the first one that is the different like the different discords all having to come together um yeah so there's a little bit of growing pains there but uh it is going to be tentatively scheduled at the moment for october uh first through third so the first weekend in october uh, maybe including September 30th on the Thursday, maybe including the Monday after. Um, 
we're just gonna more or less see like what's available for for runs and things like that uh but the most important part is the deadline to submit is actually on monday august 9th so if you haven't submitted yet and want to get a run in um definitely be sure to submit uh jordan just put the submission link in the chat as well as pretty much all of the discords should have an announcement um in the announcements channel from uh last couple weeks or so uh you know with the link to the form uh runners of all skills all uh all kinds of runs um if you're a category extension runner if you run exclusively main categories if you run side games fan games it doesn't matter uh, we want to have a good variety of runs so definitely uh don't hesitate to submit as yeah someone... the, de the deadline is sorry the deadline is the ninth but at midnight so that means that it is it just over and that's midnight uk time i believe so that would yep. be uh 26 hours from now ish uh, 25 26 26 yeah just Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just gonna hope someone submits dash, and it gets put if they put in. That's my yeah, that's my hope. hope. Yeah, like, uh, I who's actually, like, I mean, is it open to talk about who's on like the, uh, the scheduling team? Because I don't I don't know anything about all this. Um, I think it's fine. Yeah. Have we, have we have we actually announced it though? No, I don't, know. I don't <laughs> I know. think we did. I don't know if we've actually announced it. Um, Iron and I are there. I'll say that. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me let me let me find that. Uh... If it's yeah, not, the, uh... if this is not meant to be announced, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think yeah, so. I think it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, so on, on scheduling, it's Garf, Corvame, Roush, me, Sizzle, Skeleton, Chrissy, Rob the Gamer, 115. On tech, we have Wartab, Fortunate, Major, Etiquette, Mexgar, Ranger, Squid. I'm not sure if any all these people have actually accepted. Most of them have. Uh, on art, we have Pika, Nico, Sterling, Knox, Connery. And on PR, we have SL, Weed, Slayer, and Demata Pyro. So we got a very large uh, group of this year. Um, obviously, we want to get good representation from all the communities, and that's kind of the goal with with selecting this committee. So, um, yeah, it should be a really good event. I highly encourage everyone to submit, even if you are, as Etiquette said, not the strongest runner. Um, if you have a very interesting run, uh, it's definitely welcome uh, for the uh, for the marathon. Yeah. So I'll say that I think. That is everything for the podcast this month. Uh, no. is, is there anything else <laughs> that uh, I'm not nothing. aware of? I no, nothing else, but the next podcast will be in four weeks' time on the 4th of September, I believe. Uh, yes, the 4th of September. <laughs> yeah, first Saturday of each month. So... So, I'm gonna let one of you two do the outro as I focus on things. <laughs> Anyone wants to say the outro? Yeah, not. Um, no, I think we're yeah. good. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys all for watching. And um, if you're not already following the channel, definitely do follow the channel because we. Uh, this is where the marathon will be, so you definitely don't want to miss that. So, um, mm -hmm. and yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.